listening to Home Builders here in Vancouver, Washington and the surrounding areas. As the inventory of existing homes on the market has stayed just so incredibly low, many home buyers are turning to new construction to get, have a better shot at getting under contract. This is also a wonderful option if you are a buyer who has a house to sell. It's super tough right now to compete with those non-contingent buyers when you are searching for an existing home that Often there's multiple offers on the table. So if you're the, the one person who has the contingency you got to sell in order to buy, you know, it's hard to get picked. But as a ray of light, if you are a home buyer with that house to sell in this market, I just want you to know we are still getting clients like you under contract with the contingency, so it's not impossible. Last side note before I begin, I have included a list of questions to ask home builders before you go under contract at the very end of this video. So stick around for that. Also, last, last side note, thank you for watching my channel. Take a moment to like this video and subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every week about life and real estate here in Clark County, Washington. I'm a local realtor. I grew up in this area and I love sharing my experiences and knowledge with my community here on YouTube. Here in Vancouver and the many surrounding areas, we have all the major players of national home builders. Um, well, from national home builders to local home builders. So keep your eyes out for these names as you search. Uh, it's usually more of a fruitful to look on builder websites for their upcoming listings versus searching sites like Zillow or MLS, where many of those proposed listings just flood the results and are confusing to sort through. So let's start with the national builders you can find here. Richmond American, Lennar, DR Horton, David Weekly Homes. I know I'm just giving you a list at this point, but this video is really meant to be a starting point for you to dive in and do your own research. So I'm not gonna go into great detail about each builder, just the ones that I have experience with firsthand. Uh, more regional or local builders, you should definitely look into Pacific Lifestyle Homes, New Tradition Homes, Polish Homes, Cascade West, Ginn, Urban Northwest, Generation Homes, Kingston Homes, and Holt. If you are building on your own lot and you want a custom builder, I would look into Garrett Custom Homes, which is an extension of Pacific Lifestyle, Affinity Homes, Cascade West, Merritt Custom Homes, Marnella Homes, or Dorio Construction. If you're wanting to know every single option, I would encourage you to take a look at the Building Industry of Association of Clark County's website as any builder worth their salt and in good standing will be a BIA member. Okay, now going through the builders I have experience with to give you the scoop. Again, this is just an overview and I uh, we don't have all day to go through every single one in such huge detail, so this is 10,000 feet, right? I put together a spreadsheet of all of these builders though along with links to their website, so just Use the link in the comments to reach out to me and I will get you that info. Richmond American Homes. This is a great national builder, wonderful reputation, builds high quality homes at various price points. My clients have been really happy with the quality of the finishes and the selections available. They've had really great support staff in my experience and all of our questions and concerns were answered and addressed. Lennar Homes has got to be one of the largest home building companies in the country. I have sold a few of these lately and Man, they have home building down to a science. Their home pricing and the build process is very controlled, so don't try to negotiate or ask for extras. They're not gonna give them to you. There has been a lot of uncertainty with completion dates among builders during the pandemic, pandemic and I've appreciated that Lennar runs a very tight ship and their schedules haven't been so impacted by the supply chain and labor issues. So that just tells me that they are heavy hitters and pull a lot of weight with their subcontractors. DR Horton is another national builder and oftentimes a more affordable option. I don't actually know very much about DR Horton and their process, but I see their express home signs everywhere and those communities pop up all over the place. And I always present that as an option to, for new construction to my clients, as DR Horton is definitely a volume and production builder. David Weekly Homes, awesome national builder that makes the process feel very personal. I have a client under contract to purchase one of these homes as a pre-sale, which means that they pick the lot, the house plan, and the finishes, and like are completely starting from scratch. It's been a super great process, really easy. I have a friend who works at the company and just absolutely loves it there. Uh, he only has the best things to say about the builder. The sales staff is dedicated to each community, so buyers get a lot of attention and support from the process. Pacific Lifestyle Homes. This is a great local company with roots here in Vancouver. They have communities all over the place and build fantastic homes. I love their floor plans and elevations, which is the front facade of a home. I have found the sales team to be really well trained, responsive, and super respectful to clients and realtors. They do let clients make limited changes to the floor plans and do upgrades. And sometimes when there is so much information being communicated, it does get confusing. So just 
bring your pencil and paper and write everything down. New Tradition Homes, another great local builder. Like Pack Life, they also have communities all over the county. They build beautiful homes and are priced competitively, but are definitely not a discount builder. They seem to put a lot of thought into their design and their communities. They really turn out fantastic. They're lovely places. I love showing new tradition homes as clients tend to leave the model home excited and really happy about what's coming up. Polish Homes is a regional builder. I see them less than others, but when they do have a community, it sells out quickly. One of the things that impressed me most when one of my clients bought a Polish home last year was the level of attention that they gave to their clients. They were so responsive and sincerely cared about my clients' concerns and then resolved each and every one of them. Also, they provide so much education about the care of a home. I haven't seen a builder spend that much time teaching a client how to take care of their home before. It was so nice that they like actually sat down with you for a couple of hours to walk through the whole house, all the systems, explain all of like the care. Cascade West is a local builder. They build mostly high-end and luxury communities and they do custom homes on your own lot. In my experience, they have been very detail-oriented and patient. They let clients tweak and customize the plans and really make each home unique. So here's a couple of questions that I would recommend asking um, the salespeople at the model home before you are, I don't know, diving into the contract or getting too far into your search. Um, if you have started your search online, I would definitely recommend asking them, do you, have you built this house anywhere? And is it somewhere that I can go look at it? So maybe it's a home that's not being advertised online. Um, it's already under contract for somebody else, but if they have that floor, floor plan, even at framing or sheetrock or somewhere that you can just go physically walk through it, I highly recommend doing that. And um, a lot of times salespeople, they're just like in the moment, they're busy, they're dealing with a lot of clients at model homes. So knowing to ask that question can get your feet on the ground to see a floor plan that you like um, that's maybe just not in that community. Um, I would also ask them, do you use your own forms? Like do you have builder specific forms or are you using the standard Northwest MLS forms that are used on every other transaction? Um, most, if not all builders have some degree of their own form. So they have a contract that's protecting them and it is in their best interest. And some of those can be very, very lengthy. So I would just definitely, um, take your time to review those forms and just know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, it might be possible that you could ask the agent to share that with you ahead of time. So before you're getting to the point of a contract, you could ask them, Hey, do you mind if I just see like a blank? contract of what it might look like to buy a home from you guys, just so that I can review it before we get too far into this. Another good question would be, what are the CCNRs for the community? What is the HOA fee? Can I see a copy of the CCNRs, which is the codes, covenants, and restrictions for a community so that you know what the neighborhood um, rules and regulations are basically. If the home is, gosh, what was the date? If the community was developed after 2020, or like maybe it was after 2019, there's new uh, legislation, it's called Wakaiowa. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but you should also get a notice, or like a, what do they call it, a public notice. That's one. Um, another good question to ask would be, do you have any incentives or promotions going on right now? Sometimes a builder might not be marketing it, but if it's, especially like national builders, they might have like a countrywide incentive of like, 3,000 towards closing costs if you buy a home that's completed this month or um, free blinds or some sort of promotion with a preferred lender. So definitely ask because it might not be something that's being marketed. What else? What else? What else? Um, you can ask them about a builder deposit. So some builders, they just want like typical earnest money, which tends to be about 1% of the purchase price. Other builders, they have a number in mind depending on how customized that home is. So it might just be that you are paying out of pocket for all of the upgrades. So just buyer beware. Like if you are planning on using an FHA loan to buy a new construction home, you probably don't have thirty dollars to $50,000 sitting around. And a lot of these builders, they will let you upgrade the crap out of these homes. There's nothing wrong with buying a home though that hasn't been upgraded. And you can just do all of that after closing. Um, but just be aware that some builders, they let you upgrade they want you to pay all of the, for all the upgrades up front as a deposit to the builder. And I would also ask them, hey, can I wrap those upgrades into the purchase price so that the, um, it's like reflected, right? Like, so if you're buying a house for 430, let's pretend, and you, up, you spend $30,000 on upgrade, upgrading it. If you're just paying that in cash to the builder, 
then when that sale closes, um, it's going to say 430, not 460. And then in five years, when you go to sell the house, it might show that it sold for 430 five years ago versus 460. And then the next buyer, I don't know. I just think that it helps with the value to just have it recorded in the MLS at the sales price, including all the upgrades. Um, another question to ask would be, do I get to select the finishes and how many options do I have? People, builders that are more like production builders are going to give you packages like one, two, three, four. You can pick one of these packages and no, you can't mix and match. Other builders, like they have a design centers where you can go and you can pick from like huge selection of options. Um, what else? Ask them about the build time. It really does vary builder to builder and by their volume and how, what their sub pool looks like. And it right now with COVID, it has been tough. <laughs> so just be aware when you're going into buying new construction that you are having a conversation with the builder when you are signing a lease. Like if you're selling your existing home to get the money out for the builder deposit to, to build your next home and you're signing a lease agreement, Talk to that builder when you're talking about the lease terms um, because you do not want to be in a situation where your lease expires, they're not going to renew it, your home isn't done, and then you need, that's on you to figure it out. So definitely have that conversation and keep in touch with the builder over time about what the build is looking like and how long it, it looks like it's going to take to get it wrapped up. Another good question would be, do you have any other communities coming up soon? So builders are typically always buying lots all over the county. And so just ask them, like, if you're not seeing anything that you are falling in love with, just what is next? And then maybe you're going to be willing to wait and just see what the prices are going to be like in that community. Uh, most often a builder is not going to tell you what their pricing is going to be like in a community from the get-go. They might give you a range about like starting in the mid fives or starting in the 600s, uh, but they're not going to price anything until they are ready to pull permits. All right. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, don't forget to send me an inquiry if you want some more information, if you want that spreadsheet about builders in this area and all their websites and all that good stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.